everyone, it's Justine here for Create a Smile and today I wanted to talk about envelopes and how to decorate them using some awesome stamps from Create a Smile. Now I often notice that when I go to send letters my envelopes don't look nearly as nice as my cards do and I thought that I would spend a little bit of time um, making envelopes the last few days and I thought I'd show you three of them that I have made that are really bright and fun to put your cards in. So I'm going to be using the Botanical Love Stamp and the Letters Stamp from Create a Smile and two of them I'm just going to be using some markers to color in the letters and for the other one I'm going to be using some heat embossing with the flowers. I'm going to start off with one of the white envelopes here and my Misty Stamper. I'm going, you don't need the Misty at all, you just need a stamp block big enough to hold the Letters Stamp from Create a Smile. And I am going to be stamping a certain area of the card so it looks like the letters are floating to the top of the card where my stamp will eventually sit. I think my favorite thing about stamping and decorating my envelopes is going to the post office and having this post office people not know where to put the stamp because they don't want to cover up any of my pretty envelope and they always say that the stamp ruins the envelope. I think that's really kind of a fun compliment. So I'm going to stick on my letters stamp here and I'm going to be uh, just select uh, stamping certain ones. Now this is a really great background stamp because there's quite a bit of space in between each image so you can actually stamp and ink up in a certain area that you want to stamp and I thought this area um, on the stamp here was perfect and if you get any ink on any of the other ones just use a baby wipe to clean it off and that should do it for you. So I'm just going to move my envelope down a little bit because the envelopes were a little bit low. Uh, so now I have that stamped and I'm just going to double stamp it just to make those solid envelopes look even more vibrant black. I like to do that especially because I have the Misty. It's so easy to do and it takes only a couple of seconds. So I'm just going to clean up my stamp here and get ready to color. For time purposes, I'm just going to speed up this portion of the video. I'm going to stuff in a scrap piece of paper into the envelope so my ink doesn't bleed onto the back of my envelope. So I think it would have if I didn't put that in. I'm going to add some markers. So I'm just using some various Copic markers. I'm not using any blending, but I am putting a darker color on the envelope and then a lighter color. So here I used RB13, RB17. Here I'm using YG05 and YG07. And then I went on to, I just wanted to create a really vibrant palette. So I went on to YR07 and YR04 for the orange. For the yellow, I believe I used Y19 and Y15. And then for the blue, I used BG02 and BG15. So I really like the way that this looks. It has a perfect amount of space to write the address on the left and put the stamp on the top. For my second one, I'm going to be creating a pattern on the envelope flap at the top. Now I realized after I stamped and colored it that it actually ends up being upside down, but I actually like the look of it upside down, so I didn't bother remaking this for the video or for my card because I like the way that it turned out regardless. So I lined up my stamp along the fold line of the envelope so that I didn't have to worry about masking off an area. And I just inked up the entire stamp here using Memento Black ink and I'm just going to stamp it down onto the flap of the envelope. And then I'm just going to move my stamp and do it on the other side as well. Again, for time's sake, I'm just going to speed up the video here. So I'm just cleaning it off and then I'm just going to place it. I'd have to move my envelope in order to fit the stamp on here. I'm just gonna place that sort of down in the corner here, ink that up again, and then stamp my image. I'm gonna go in and color them with the exact same color combination as before. So I'm just randomly picking out envelopes so that there no two colors are really side by side, but there's a large variety of vibrant colors. If you'd like to decorate your envelopes, I would love to know how, and please leave a comment below in the, in the comments section and let me know how you decorate your envelopes or how you would like to decorate them. And uh, I would love to some ideas and tips as well if you have them. I've already uh, addressed all of my Christmas envelopes actually all in white ink on a dark red and a dark blue uh, envelopes and I think it looks absolutely fantastic so I'm really excited to get those sent up this year. And then on the back I have sort of an white embossed seal of Merry Christmas in a circle and I absolutely love it and I'll be doing a video on that as well in the future. So be sure to click the subscribe button on um, my channel here so that you can make sure that you don't miss out on that video either if you enjoy this video. So the Botanical Love Stamp, I am putting the flower here in the corner and I'm going to be white embossing it so it makes a really nice white look on the actual card. And I'm going to be stamping that in Versamark ink. And then I'm going to be um, covering it in white embossing powder. Now I'm using a Ranger white embossing powder. It's a super fine embossing powder, which I really like for fine detailed stamps like this one. You could use regular white embossing powder as well, but I like to use the fine one myself. 
I'm going to just use my heat gun to heat that up and you will see the um, difference in how it looks when it is finished. So when it starts to become a glossy white, that's when you know it's done. Now as far as addressing the envelopes is concerned, I like to just do it freehand. You could also use a pencil and then hand write it in and then go over it with white. I personally don't usually make too many mistakes so I'll just hand write it. I'm using a white gel pen. Uh, this is a Uniball gel pen. If it stops, uh, the ink stops coming out, just color a little bit on your hand and it should get the pen going. I go quite slowly. I have you sped up on the video here just for time purposes. I'm just not, I'm not using my real address. I'm just making up an address and so I like to usually do some sort of cursive, loopy, pretty writing for the name. And then I like to have the address nice and clear so that nobody gets confused at the post office at all. Um, I kind of get some funny looks every once in a while from people at the post office, but they send them anyway. I'm going to just do one for this one as well, just to show you how I would do it on black. I have no fine liner pens. I definitely need to invest in some. So I'm just using a Copic marker using the nib part. And I'm just writing the same address here. And feel free to use last names and everything I just thought. I would um, go through that for a second. So here's a last look at the three envelopes that I made and you see that your mail becomes automatically more prettier and personalized. So I would love to see if you end up uh, decorating your own envelopes. So if you do, put a link below in the, in the comment section and I would love to check out your artwork as well. Thanks so much for watching everyone. See you next time. If you're interested in any of the supplies used in this video, check out my blog or below in the video description. You can click on my blog there up at the top. You can click on the right on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel or on the video that's playing right now to check out my last video for creative smell stamps. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. Catch you next time.